Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the vlog. It feels so good to be back. For those of you who are following me on Instagram, um, you know the situation I was in. For those of you that don't know, well, you can go at me on Instagram and you'll see. But basically, I left to Utah for a little bit. Um, I had a family emergency that I had to be taken care of. Point is, it feels so good to be back, to be honest guys. I am so happy right now to have the camera in my hand and to be doing some car stuff again and making more content for you guys. So we're gonna keep that coming again. Uh, so today we're heading down to Shane's house right now. We're gonna be working on his neighbor's van. You know, that guy that always came up to me, kept asking me, hey, can you work on this? Can you work on that? Can you do this? All that stuff. Well, today we are going to be doing some of that work for him. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna be changing out the rear shocks. That's it on the on his minivan It's very simple literally just two bolts on each shock Done that's it. So um, but hopefully it goes very smooth We get all of it done quickly to where we could start doing some work on my car. I was over at Shane's house yesterday guys and I was recording but to be 100% honest with you, with everything that happened that I'm going through right now, um, I wasn't really just feeling it quite yet to, to get too into it, you know, with recording and, um, you know, editing and everything like that. So I literally just deleted everything I recorded yesterday. But it's okay, guys. You know, it wasn't much. So today I'm going to give you guys an update on what it is that I did do yesterday and what we're gonna try to get done today as long as I have time. So we're almost there, so I'll just see you guys when we get there. Well, it took a while yesterday, so. Hi. All right, guys, we're at Shane's house now. Uh, we're waiting for the neighbor to come out so we can get started on his uh, rear shocks. So that way I can work on that thing over there. For now, we're gonna eat some Maybe some donuts? What? Uh, I should probably take this back to work. Why? They're rock hard? Pretty fucking hard. At least that one is. <sighs> yeah, fuck those things. This one's squishy. Oh, that one's hard. Yeah. That one's hard. These are squishy. Well, I got donut holes in there too, so. What are donut holes? What? Well, these were supposed to be for us, but. While he's going to get donut holes, whatever those are, let me give you guys an update real quick. Alright, so yesterday, bam, diffuser. I went ahead and sent the entire thing with 400 grit. And then um, we went ahead and primered. It's really dirty now, but... And then the only flaw is over here. If you guys remember last time when it was really hot out, it dried way too fast. Um, I thought I sanded it out, but I guess I didn't. So it um, cracked more. So we're gonna try to fix that. We have a couple runs right there and right there. And then in here, but that's not, it doesn't look that bad. And I think that's really it. I just literally wiped donut juice all over it <laughs> but I think that's really it guys but for the most part it's looking good um, the trunk let me show you real quick nothing special it's not done it's not that nice yet still needs a lot of work but went ahead and added some type of trimming around it so didn't come out as nice as I wanted it to but we'll see what we do I'm sure it'll look really good either way, one way or another, once it's done. So, that's the van we're working on. We're replacing the two rear shocks, so it should be done quick. Alright guys, also real quick, I wanted to show you guys something. I went ahead and got two new bags. One there, one there. Well, they're not new, they're used. Um, so, I only need one more, guys. This one, though, is compressed a little bit from when he took it off. Uh, I've had it happen as well, you can see right in there. So I'm actually trying 
to use this to pump it up to where it'll decompress itself. Um, I can't get it to though, but let's see. It won't, I can't get it. To. It won't stay. Huh? It won't stay. Yeah. I need it to come out more. Right, guys, well, this one won't come out, but that's okay because once I put actual like the plug into it, it'll pop out. Ah, oh, come on, my battery's gonna die. What the fuck? I charged it. All right, well, we got the shocks there. Anyways, that's a good update though. At least we got the bags. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much get started. Shay's gonna go ahead and move. Hopefully this thing doesn't take too long. All right guys, so here it is. It's a Sienna Toyota. And we, Sienna. Sienna, whatever. And what we got is, that you can see right there, one bolt right there. And then literally, let me see, is this open? Oh, okay. And then literally that cover comes off and then one more bolt. Okay. That's basically it. <laughs> So the new shock is already in. Um, the only thing we're having a problem with now is just tightening it. We need a star key and a wrench rather than a socket. And that's basically it. it took what, like, how long did that take? Ten minutes? Five, ten minutes. That's it. So we're going to finish this one. All we got to do is really just tighten it and then do that one. No. So that's basically it, and then this is done, and we'll put this back over to him. Look what's inside the car of an Asian. Two compressors, and then, of course, you gotta have your top ramen. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done with that. Um, went good. Pretty easy job for the most part. We'll be doing the front suspension later in the future. Um, so, huh? Yeah, if you guys want anything done, one-stop shop right here pretty much but um my battery is actually about to die i don't know how because i charged it the other day but um while i have battery life i'm gonna go ahead and pull out my da i'm gonna sand all this area and then reprimer just this and we'll see what else we can do maybe i'll start scotch brighting the entire thing get it ready for paint and then after that maybe let's see I think I might, no, I can't really ground. I'm, I wanna start grounding everything out soon, but I can't cause I need to get some wires first. But, um, so yeah, this, I don't know how much is gonna be in this video. I'm gonna do what I can, but for right now, I'm gonna set you guys up. We're gonna pull out the DA. We're gonna sand all of this, get that part primered. Cause that's basically where the flaws are at. And for the most part, the rear diffuser is done. guys so we got all of this sanded i'm gonna go ahead and hit it again by hand 
um, because my pad is pretty pretty worn out and I don't have any more pads so I may not actually be able to do this today but I'm gonna go ahead and hit this by hand and then we're gonna go ahead and primer it I'm not alright guys we just got done primering that um, it's drying still right now but so far the cracks are gone looks really good so I'm gonna go ahead and Dick. So anyways, yes, it's good. I'm going to peel the tape off. We'll see how it looks when it's fully dry. And then honestly, guys, I'm not going to be able to record much more. My battery is flashing red. But I'm going to keep doing what I can do. Um, if it dies, I'm going to keep working. And I'll just update you guys when the battery is charged. All right, guys. So I never really take care of my engine bay. So kind of cleaning it out right now. What is this stuff? I wiped it down actually first with some armor oil. And then, what is this stuff, Shane? Just a tire. Tire cleaner, tire cleaner yeah. stuff. So we're gonna pretty much putting it on here. Just yeah. for trim, trim and tires. Okay. I never really take care of my engine bay. I used to keep it clean. I think it's time I start making it look clean again. Hey, what's up guys? So my battery ended up dying like I said it was going to at Shane's. Um, I'm home now. I ended up going to the doctors and did some stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys up right now on what it is we did. So it wasn't much that I did, but um, the things I did did make a big difference in everything. Okay, so. First, let's go to the engine bay. All right. So if you guys remember my horns, they used to be red. I painted them red just for kicks and giggles. Well, they're back to flat black now. Not only that, but we cleaned up the entire engine bay. Thank you, Shane. What I did was I used some armor all, and then after that, I went ahead and used um, some detailing stuff that Shane took from his old manager when he used to do detailing. So the engine bay looks really good. So I'm happy about that because I've been neglecting that. So now to the rear. Okay. So the diffuser, if you guys remember, I told you it was cracking. Um, I ended up taking the DA, sanded all of that, primered it, and then I took scotch Bright to the entire thing. So the entire diffuser is completely, is that a scratch? Yes, it is. Oh, I kicked it. I forgot. <laughs> so the, the, the entire rear diffuser is completely scotch brighted and for the most part, um, I would say 99% ready for paint. People always be speeding through here, man. I swear to God. All right, so we open this. Ignore the mess. But, so, yeah, you can sort of see. Let me turn this on right quick. So if you look, you know, it's all clean and whatever. Um, you can see right here I have some wires and stuff. Okay, so if you pull this away, let me see real quick. Sorry you guys, I'm struggling right now. Gosh, okay. Alright, that's good. So you take this away, and then right here we have my ground for one compressor, all tucked away nicely. And then you come over here, and we have um, this purple and orange one is going to be going to the front. Or, or pur yeah, purple and orange. And then, let me try to focus you, sorry. All these wires you see right here I did today. And they're all right here. So you can see all of those are grounded out right now. That's my um, compressor. Let me turn you guys around. That's my compressor, the ground for the relay, the ground for the management. Um, let me see, compressor, ground for the relay, ground for the management, and there's one more ground. I don't remember what the ground is actually for, because I know one's for right here, the relay. That's two. The compressors, I have one here, one here, and there should be one more ground. I don't remember what it is for, 
but pretty much though guys that's what we did um all of that actually took a lot of work um i had to extend the wiring um extend the wiring run all the wiring um you know grind out the metal so it has a nice ground and then we had to um you know put all the connector pieces on and whatnot screwed everything down it was a lot of work and i was kind of on a time crunch because i had a doctor's appointment today and that's basically it guys so the diffuser we did we did the grounds um the engine bay we detailed and cleaned that up a little bit so the main thing is um the, now that the grounds are all done that's a really big plus guys um basically the entire system is completely hooked up now other than the purple and orange wire you saw i need to run that back to the fuse box under the dash but that's pretty simple to do um and then i need to run the power cable other than those two things that's what's stopping it from actually running um and then after that i need to put the tank in and we'll put the tank in i need to get a plug for the bottom of the tank and then we need to put spacers where the tank's going to go so it lifts it up a little bit pretty much hook everything in and then that's basically it and then after that it's run all the hose lines and such and that's basically it guys so my prediction we'll probably have air ride on this thing in two months look at this riser watch I swear to you guys he will speed up and down here every time i'm out here he'll rev up his car he thinks he's a hot shit in his little civic there was one time i tried racing him and he would not do it so anyways guys aside from all of that uh, we're down here. um basically that's it guys like this video hit that thumbs up subscribe guys if you aren't already please i know a lot of you watch my videos but you are not subscribed it does not take long Right now, I'll give you a couple seconds. Just scroll down, just one click, done. No charge, absolutely nothing. It'll help me out a lot towards this build. So go ahead and subscribe real quick. Good, thank you guys for that subscribe. Let me refocus there, okay, okay, come on. Focus, there we go. So for those of you though who are subscribed, thank you guys so much. Keep liking the videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Keep commenting down below. I love reading your guys' comments and meeting a lot of you guys and talking to you. And then you guys add me on Instagram and talk to me there. And you keep, you know, and, um, you keep motivating me. You know, when you guys compliment how much you like this build and what I'm doing with it and keep doing what I'm doing, that keeps me going, guys. I enjoy doing this um, for you guys and for myself, obviously. But I think that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, again, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Until next time, peace out.